Women and children abuse are an unfortunate but growing phenomena in the country. We have different sectors of society making noise about it and pleading for it to stop. A group of young artists are adding to that voice. I'm writing a book also on child abuse. So whilst writing a book, I decided to work on an exhibition that goes hand in hand with it. And then uh, Freedom Park uh, also approached us and then they wanted to have a partnership on doing this exhibition. Um, what we're hoping to achieve with this, we actually hoping to bring in a lot of stakeholders because we're building a foundation that will actually help kids that are facing these things go into schools and then teach them about child abuse, teach them about... Um, the, 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 um, the NPOs that are there to help them. Higher education arts students have been called in to have their say on the matter through the Ezamazu exhibition. We have um, different mediums, as we said. We have photography, we have painting, drawing, and sculpture. So, sculptures. So, what we're going to do is from all these works that are selected, if we have a, photography, uh, a photo here and painting, drawing, and in the middle we have sculptures depending on the space itself of the, of the gallery. Everything will have to tell a story on its own and it has to make a, f a complete artwork when they combine. For these young artists, the message of their works is quite profound. It's inspired by, by the song, uh, the Stimela song, seeing the world through the eyes of the children. My work is, uh, I wanted people to connect to the viewers or the spectators to connect the work and see what uh, was what is happening uh, here in the world and in South Africa. Yeah, I wanted I want them to like to create their own meaning to analyze the, the the pictures with their own ideas when they see this like the one thing I name it Timagazo. The Zamazo exhibition will be open to the public for free from 26 November at the Freedom Park. I'm Nuktulam Dalose for Morning Live in Pretoria.